Catalan beauty group Puig, owner of brands such as Paco Rabanne and Jean-Paul Gaultier, made its debut on the Spanish stock market on Friday with a market valuation of nearly 14 billion euro. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. The Barcelona-based company began trading at a price of 24 euro and 50 cent per share and at the time of the initial public offering, Puig's stock was up by 5%. The stock launch is the largest on a European stock market this year and the largest in Spain since 2015. The extension of the B40 highway is one of the biggest issues during the Catalan election campaign. Just over a week out from the vote, you can check out a full analysis of where parties stand on our website. All polls for the May 12th vote indicate that the socialists, led by Salvador Illa, will come out on top. The mainstream pro-independence parties and former coalition partners, Esquerra and Junts, will jostle for second place. The largest comic book convention in Spain, Comic Barcelona, is underway in Fira de Barcelona until Sunday. A record-breaking number of artists will be present at the event that will pay special attention to cinema and the late Francisco Ibáñez. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I'm, I'm really looking forward to meet the, the public. Um, also, I've just come from London, which has been grey, cold and windy. The Tipi Dabo theme park will open a new drop tower at the end of May. The 52 metre tall freefall ride will be named Merli and will offer unbeatable 360 degree views of Barcelona. A taco festival in Montjuic, a German-style beer garden and an international documentary festival are just some of the cultural highlights that you can enjoy this weekend. Check out the guide on our website for more plans. That's all for today, but to get you in the election mood, we'll be publishing a new episode of our podcast previewing next week's vote tomorrow. That'll be out wherever you get your podcasts, just search for Filling the Sink. Many thanks for watching and have a good weekend.